They all came in playing smoke on the water, you know, uh, free bird, things like that. And we've really opened them up to the possibilities. They didn't know that they could play this kind of music. And now that they do, that's what they want to play. They still play the other things, but they really enjoy playing this. And people are amazed when they play, and that's what they really like, is that people can't believe that they can play this stuff. Mostly what we're trying to do is uh, expose them to a lot of different kinds of music so that you know, they get to hear everything that they hear on uh, you know, the radio stations and television and things like that. And uh, what Tom and I try to do is bring different kinds of music that, uh, that maybe they've heard before but they didn't hear it on the guitar, like green sleeves, uh, the little piece of romance, things like that. It's things that, uh, that probably if he you know, didn't get the music for them and sit in front of them and show them how to do it, they, they'd never have that experience. Now what's happening is I'm only bringing my fingers in to the palm of my hand. You know, it's, it, it, it sounds like a cliche, but it's the magic of the music. The, the music itself engages them in such a way that they just want to play well, and they, they want to find out how to do it better. And, and it's, it's because the level of music is different. If they were only playing the stuff they hear on the radio, not that that's bad, it's great music. I mean, I grew up playing the Beatles, but if they were only playing that stuff, it, it, it doesn't take the same uh, level of attention. It doesn't take the same level of concentration. So it, it is, it is the, the repertoire and the choice of tunes that he's picking to work with them on uh, that, that I think makes a huge difference. When you want to make something sound sweet, you can, or if you want it to sound bright, you can. See? If we didn't have the impetus with, with Chris there the first time, they wouldn't believe that they could do these things. And he's guided them, he's shown them what they might be able to achieve one day. And we've got seventh and eighth graders playing some pretty difficult things. One of the things I've noticed just since we started doing this as a partnership the end of last summer, the beginning of spring, is that the discipline level of the kids has just gone through the roof. Because when I first came, it was, it, you know, it was kind of bedlam and difficult to get them to be quiet and listen to either one of us. And, you know, we, we've kind of gotten to used to putting the, the guitars on their laps. When it's time when they're not playing, the strings are on their laps so they can't vibrate. But it's not just that, it's, it, it's that, it, that Tom has worked with them to the point that, that they know when, when to start, when to stop, you know, and to watch his conducting and things like that. is is if they were all just playing you know just only chords or only um, you know the stuff that you would learn in a, a non-classical kind of a setting uh, I, it's my opinion I, mean, I, I don't think they'd have quite the same level of discipline they have but it's just probably the most disciplined hour of their day is is the guitar class mm -hmm. 